Um, oh, wow. Can you hear me? Okay. Weird. Um, now it's better. All right. Can the, is that better? All right, cool. I was hearing my self feedback. I was like, what is that?
basically the LBGQ, anybody who fits into that out of countries where they are at serious risk. Oh right, so now, other than sort of main country, most of us they are still at risk in countries like ours. World, yes, first world but you might you might be gay in this country. That's not a problem. In certain countries, I know, it's particularly in the Middle like East, death, you will whatever. be put up against a wall and stoned. Well, um, so we're back playing with some brilliant guys across the pond. Uh, when we last left off, it's been a couple of weeks because conflict of schedules, but we're finally back to get back with the real gray mouser and. Their versions of Favre? Favre? I always thought it was Favre. But anyways, where we last left these three, they were coming face-to-face -face with a disembodied flaming skull creature in this very large room. Uh, we currently have a Mannix character, a Canis Rubur character, and a Jakara Sabatori uh, character. Um, a Sabatori Jakara is a basically a saber tooth, and he's like eight feet tall. The Canis Rober is a wolf type. And then the Mannix is our mouse folk. So we're going to go ahead and get over here and meet the players in like a few seconds. Um, I hope everybody is here to enjoy me killing them. I mean, playing with them. Um, and uh, here are the players. We have Ziggy the Quick, Tahir Pogruma, and Braun Cena. Hello. Hello. You remember the last name. <laughs> Um, how are you guys doing? Good, good, good. good. Just looking, some... forward to, looking forward to playing. Well, we shall... I just heard some very bold words. <laughs> but what? That you guys are going to be playing today? No, that you're uh, going to be killing us today. I have no idea what you're talking about. No. <laughs> um, anyways, when we last left our heroes, like I said, they were in combat. <laughs> This one mean looking disembodied skull. skull. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and roll for initiative because you know that's what we do. Let's go. Uh, let's see here. That's Aang, Guards, Nestra, Gorgal, Gormak. Yeah, you guys. There's Ziggy and Tahir and Braun. Now you guys can decide to reroll initiative if you guys like, um, or you can keep the current initiatives. The current initiatives are Ziggy at 24, Tahir at 17, and Braun at 14. Do you want to keep those or you want to reroll them? I'm fine. I'll, I'll keep mine. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. So we're going to be keeping them. Right on. Mm hmm. Yeah. You need to change out the map here. Give me like two seconds. Okay. Are you on the Albert page? Uh, the, uh, well, the Albert. Yeah, Al, if you're not on the uh, Albert page there, uh, Will, go ahead and. Yeah, I'm on, on it. I, I, believe yes. I'm, I believe I'm labeled as Giant Seahorse. You are indeed. <laughs> you are a Giant Seahorse. <laughs> Right. Now you should we should be able to zoom in because we're watching the window. There we go. Brilliant. Oh the AM oh the AMDM is watching us. Right on. Thank you, AMDM. If you're not following the AMDM, you need to go follow them. Some really good folk over there. Absolutely one hundred percent. Um <laughs> one of the first people I actually encountered on D D TikTok. It's amazing. They're very good. And we're being hosted on the AMDM Twitch. Wow. Thank you. No pressure. <laughs> I'm a forever GM. I always feel the pressure. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So you guys are all going to keep the same uh, initiatives? Yes. Yes. Um, really, yeah, really because nice. that means I rolled a nine, and that's just about as good as I can roll. So. <laughs> <laughs> I did as good as I could do. 
<laughs> Basically. Well, I rolled pretty pants, but I've got a huge base, so. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a pretty pretty big base there. Um, so, uh, as I was just telling everybody, starting September 1st, uh, I'm going to be streaming as much as I can, uh, at least three times a week, if not more. Um, and I'm hoping that I can get a bunch of you guys to come in and watch and donate uh, to the Trevor Project, which all money will be going directly to them. And that will be up starting September 1st. And we're going to run it until I get to $3,000. I've set a very lofty goal. And it goes to a great service. It helps uh, with the LGBTQI uh, community uh, around the world for mental health and helping them where they need it the most. So come join me on September 1st until the end of the year. Maybe we can make it a Merry Christmas for everybody over there. Anyways, I've got a role for initiative for this dude. He's just not happy. He's on fire. What do you expect? Right? <laughs> I wouldn't be happy if I was on fire. Rule zero, do not be on fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he rolled a 10. Oh, right, dear. So that puts him right, right after Ziggy and before Tahir. Awesome. All right, Zig. It's all you. What do you want to do? Um, I am going to move to there and use that pillar for cover. I don't have my gun because my gun went kaboom. Yeah, it last session. yeah, last session it kind of kind of went the way of the dodo bird yes. on that one. So I've got short sword in one, my sword in one hand, my knife in the other, and another knife held by my tail just in case. And just to uh, get you guys back up to speed on certain things, the if this is an undead creature, we don't know, but if it's an undead creature or an undead entity, they can only hit by weapons that have uh, magical energy, specifically divine energies or fire energies on it, right? So be careful when you run up to try to strike it and you don't do anything. So just be aware of that. And the one person who can give that to everybody is the here. Hello. The priest. I have plans. Flaming skull. <laughs> All right. So this guy. Um, let's see. I think I've got some dialect written to him. He is not the BBBEG, though. Just to give you a forewarning on that. Um, okay. <laughs> he's, he's pretty bad, but he's not, he's not the big guy. Beep. That's kind of terrifying, not going to lie. I was already scared. Yeah. He's just a herald. Um, so let's go ahead and start this. Since we're here, before we go in, uh, you guys notice on the altar here, there is a unmoving female figure that's laying there. Um. You're not sure, but you think you see blood kind of oozing down the sides of this altar. Um, he turns to you and he, he tries to speak, but it's a as it comes out. Um, and he is going to fly to here. As that happens, One, two, three, four other emaciated, emaciated, very thin looking, emaciated. dried, emaciated, thank you, English language, you guys invented it, remember that, um, <laughs> come out of these walls, or out of these pillars at that time. Um, and he looks at you to hear, and he speaks this language that you're not, you've never really heard it before. Make a stamina check. Uh, yeah, just make a stamina check. Uh, ah, throwing my dice everywhere. Uh, right, my stamina is 82, and I rolled a 44, so that's four successes. Um, as the words leave his mouth, you hear and feel, well, you hear the words, but you feel this dark energy kind of just like pass through you. Um, literally, your fur, all of it kind of stands up on end for a second as you get this chilling impact of this negative energy that just flows right through you. 
Um, that's the end of their turn, and now it is Tahir's turn. I will be casting um, Spiritual Weapon on Bron. Brilliant. Go for it. Let's see how well we do. Uh, let me just call my character sheet. Right, under my Divine Knowledge, which is 55. Uh, 67. Uh, I'll spend a Heroic Luck to re-roll that. Brilliant. Reroll it. And I'm live on the internet. Don't be. Okay, I rolled an 11, and I need to get 55, so that's four successes. Five successes. So that's gonna la- five successes, so that's going to last for five rounds. All right, so Braun, basically what happens, do you want to tell him what the spell does? Do you have that up? Yeah, uh, one second. I've got it on. And you may want to write this down, Braun, so that way you have the easy reference. So uh, your weapon uh, becomes enhanced with holy or unholy power, causing it to glow with a silver light. Um, the spell grants the weapon the following bonuses. It gets plus 10 holy damage, um, plus 1 per 2 successes. So I got 5 successes, so that is plus 12 holy damage whenever you hit. Um, you gain plus 10 on your attack skill. And um, every time it strikes the target, uh, they need to make a perception check at TS4 or be blinded for the next time. Nice. It's a really good spell. Um, that When you say plus 10 holy damage, and then yep. you said plus 12 holy damage, was that, was that the total? Or That's the total. So the total, total. A grand total of 12, okay. Yeah. Tried to take the priest out early. Too smart. Um, and he said about uh, has to make a perception. They have to make a perception check. TS four. They, I do. Otherwise, I'm blinded by the holy energies, or the creatures blinded by holy energies for a turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I've still got my movement. I think. Oh, sorry, that cost me three fatigue. And I've still got my movement, so I'm going to move up behind Ziggy. Okay. Anything else? Or is that it for you? Um, I can only cast one spell around, so... Uh, actually, can I move here to engage this guy? And I'll take a sw- swipe at him. Uh, so you use your full action for casting the spell, no. and then you move. You, the movement doesn't bother me. It's the other action. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you could, worry, I'll just you move could, you could, instigate. you could grab him as a simple action, but you can't really swipe at him. You hold him, I'll stab him. Um, yeah, but you stabbing him isn't going to do much until I enchant your weapons, and that's why I'm here because it's touch spell. Mm. Um, you know what? I'm just going to keep myself in the way. Okay, so um, so uh, I'm blocking, blocking his approach to Ziggy. Right on, right on. So uh, there is a rule. Eve, uh, that is used a lot. Let me see here. Um, yeah, no. So yeah, so there is a rule just to let you know that if they had both stayed there before they moved, you mm-hmm. could have spent thirty fatigue to cast another spell as a move action. Okay. Right, cool. so so like if you're bo- if everybody's there together and you decide you know I'm going to give you spiritual weapon I'm going to give you spiritual weapon and it's touch then they mm-hmm. each you could do one as a full action then spend an additional thirty fatigue whether you yeah. are successful or not with it to cast spiritual weapon on him um, but you've already moved so you kind of you kind of stuck at this point yeah that's cool I'm just happy to be a meat shield for my friend right on Braun it is your turn good sir um. I will start with a battle cry. Oh! <clears throat> and what does the battle battle cry give us? The battle cry ability lasts for one turn per two ranks. Uh, so that would be rather now rank two. That will rank two and ten. Uh, with a primal yell, you build up your physical abilities. This grants plus five to all melee attacks. Uh, melee attack checks and um, plus five temporary hit points per 20 stamina and gain your stamina modifier as bonus damage 
Brilliant. So make sure you add those temporary health points to your um, your uh, yep. your health. Right. So you should gain what twenty forty eighty. You should gain you should gain at least twenty health points. Bonus health points. So that would put my current health back to seventy five plus eighty. Okay. And I believe that is a simple action, so you still have your full and your move. So I will just run straight up to him and swing this oh! glowing silver sword. Taking it right to the man. I like it. I like it. Let's do it. Roll. <clears throat> Are we rolling on this app or no, dice? No, just go ahead and use your real dice. Okay. This, this, they're, they're still working the bugs out of this app. Um... For it, you can use it, but it doesn't. Okay. Oh, look, uh, give it a shot. See if it works. Uh, after work rolling a zero eight. After oh yeah, zero eight, after zero, you're not gonna, you're yeah, not gonna. Nice. Yeah. I'll read the rolling that. Yeah, right. I, I will use that app next time. <laughs> All right, so brilliant. You run up there and you go to slash at him. He goes to kind of move out of the way, and as he does, something causes him to stutter just long enough to gain you an additional three successes on your attack. So um, you rolled an odd eight. What's your attack score? My attack score is now 68 on the uh, hand and a half sword. Right. So you got six, seven successes. And because he fumbled his defense, which is why you're getting an additional three successes. Um, this is the perception check that he had to roll. No, 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 no. Not yet. This is we, oh, you. So okay. you, you went to strike at him. He kind of tried to move, but he didn't have... He wasn't fast enough to move, and you struck him because he, he literally, mechanic-wise, gaming-wise, I rolled and I fumbled his, his physical defense, which is a 96 okay. to 100. That, when you do that, gives you, the attacker, an additional three successes to your attack. Mm -hmm. So you've got uh, seven, seven successes. So you have a total of 10 successes in damage to this guy. So, so you're going to have, uh, so take, your, take the 10 times your base damage on your character sheet, whatever that is for the weapon. Uh, the base damage is five. Right. So you're going to do 50 points of damage plus the 12 holy bonus holy, and then your, stam uh, your stamina modifier and your strength modifier as bonus damage. Mm -hmm. so you're going to, so 50, you're at 62. Um, what's uh, your stamina uh, modifier? My stamina modifier is eight, and I get a bonus five for Battle Cry. 70. 75, and then your strength. What's your strength modifier? Eight. Eight. You're doing 83 points of damage to this thing, uh, which is impressive because it is a... You hit it, and even though you hit it with everything you got, it feels like there's this energy resisting it, but you do do damage to it. Um, and it, it screeches out in pain as the holy weapon that you're using, the spiritual weapon, shatters through its protective undead toughness and deals it um so would we how, how much did we say we said 85 83 80, 85 80, i think 85 it was. 85 um 15 points that would that took all your energy to get through that and it kind of it, the, the flames kind of dim for a second and then they <laughs> renew again Um, uh, do you want, what's your, uh, what's your weapon skill for right now? 68. So you can attack one more time if you like at a minus 10, if you want. Oh, a bit rude not to, wouldn't it? That's 19. 19. All right. So, um, I'm going to roll. All right. On this one, uh, I've got. Three successes. So, how many successes did you get? If you have a sixty for your your attack score, you rolled a nineteen. You got five successes. I've got two self def uh, defense successes. You got a total of three successes. Mm -hmm. So take so just do the same thing again. Three times your base damage plus all your modifiers. Uh, three times the base damage. So the base damage is eight. I believe. Which is five. It's five. Right. Uh, 
My maps is terrible. No, it's, so that's 15, then 27, uh, you're 12 for your holy weapon, I believe, correct? That's 27. Yeah. Uh, you gain five from your abilities, so now you're at 32. Um, you do an additional eight for your stamina modifier, you're at 40, and then five for your strength, is that correct? Uh, I assume so. Eight for strength, I think you said. Yeah, eight for strength. Eight for strength, so he's at, what was that? 48. 48. You hit it, but you don't, you feel a stronger resistance this time against your attack. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's, that's it. Ziggy, your turn. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Braun. Were you done? I'm sorry. No, I'm done. All right. Brilliant. All right, Ziggy, your turn. Right. I'm going to try. I'm not going to move. I am going to say, I'm going to try and reach past my ally grab the leg of the zombie, assuming that's what it is, and pull it so he topples over. Brilliant. So you're going to use a grappling capability. So go ahead and make a strength check. Yep. It's going to make an agility check at a negative yeah, to avoid so you grabbing at it. Strength is 51. So roll low. I'll have a go with the dice tray in the thing. Brilliant. Let's see how that works. I don't know if I can see it or not. 17. So, on your icon down there, there's a world. Is it open or is it got a, like a slash to it? Um, it's got a slash to it. Undo that slash. Open. Yeah, now re-roll it. Yeah. Well, wait, wait, wait. Would you roll? Roll a 17. All right, so we'll keep that 17, but let's just go ahead and roll and make sure we can actually see the dice. Next time. 38. I'd have been successful with that one as well. Yeah, it's not showing up. That's the reason why I don't want to use it, because I can't see it. So we'll go with the, uh, the 18 that you got. So uh, how many successes did you get? Let's see. Uh, 17 with a strength of 50, 40, 30, 20. Three successes. Three successes. Let me double check on this guy on the agility. Zombies are not known for their agility. Uh, okay, you grab him and you yank and you try to pull him to the ground. Is that correct? Yep. So underneath your legs there, next to your legs uh, to here, you see Ziggy reach out, grab this zombie by its uh, left leg and yanks as hard as he can, causing this creature to kind of wobble and then just fall over. So it's laying prone in front of you at this point. I give Ziggy like a little like nod and thumbs up. Um, Ziggy, anything else you want to do? So that's that's more or less a uh, that's pretty much your entire action for that besides movement. No, I'm well. If I'm going to get my weapon, in my main weapon imbued, I'll hold on where I am. Brilliant. All right. So this creature in front of you, Braun. Uh, Again, speak something in a weird language. Um, and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Make a stamina check at a TS of two. Okay. 55, and I have a stamina of eight. 80? Uh, well, eight modifier so i've got a stamina of 92 with a modifier of yeah eight. so you easily you are you feel this wave of cold and negative energy way uh, fall over uh, follow through through you all the hairs on your body all of them kind of shiver and stand up on end um as this cold negative energy lasts through you but doesn't seem to take effect it is now going to breathe a ray of fire on you uh, it's got what smells like burnt dog hair. It's about to smell like burnt dog hair. Um, it's got oh, <laughs> five successes on your magical defense, against your magical defense. Magical defense is 42. Roll low. <laughs> 41. <laughs> well, now, so here's the choice. Here's the, here's, the, here's the thing. Do you want to spend a heroic luck and re-roll that? Um... Yeah, why not? I've got a few of them. Twenty-two. 
Well, that's much better. So, what's your what's your what's your uh, magical defense? Forty-two. So you got two successes. I've got mm-hmm. five, so three are going to hit you. It's going to do nine nine points of burning damage to you. Uh, that ignores armor because it's a magical attack. So you're going to take nine nine points of damage there, and it smells like burnt dog. You're breaking rule zero. Breaking rule zero, don't die. Don't, don't be on fire. Don't be on fire. Right on. Um, good rule. It is a good rule. Um, let's see here. Does it do anything else on its attack? Uh, and it's going to actually bite at you now. And it's got three successes. Four successes, I'm sorry. That's against his physical defense? Yes. Okay, is that a... Do I get a bonus for my shield? Well, that's what we talked about earlier. So if you're using your shield, you can use your shield as, as your uh, physical defense, which is a 68, I believe. Uh, 64, I think. Or is it the shield skill? Shield skill, which is a shield 66 skill. or 68. 68, yeah. Uh, nine. 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 So you easily, Nine. this thing goes to bite at you and you just raise your shield up and it's, you can hear it clanging against the metal shield, the, the teeth gnawing on it, on the bare metal. Uh, stop it. Um, then the mummy, the, the mummies, the zombies, kind of make their way towards you. And the zombie here is going to get an attack on you. Okay. And misses. The other zombie reaches for you, trying to attack you, and it also misses. And we are on to Tahir. Oh, um, I'm going to attempt to enchant Siggy's weapon. Uh, uh, that was shite. I'm going to spend a heroic luck and re-roll that. Equally bad. Um, can I spend more than one heroic luck? To uh, or is it? N- oh, no, you can only spin one. No. However, there's yeah. another special ability that is doing casting. Um, let me get to that. Mm-hmm. And these rules for your information, if you want to follow along, uh, Doc, is on page 230. It's called Use of Fatigue with Spells and Powers. You can spend 30 fatigue and have it not fail. Um, Ooh, that's a lot of fatigue. It is a lot of fatigue, but it will not fail. Um, uh, go on then. Yeah. Um, so that's could 40. he draw? Could he willingly draw that fatigue from me? No. Okay. There is an ability that allows him to do that, but he doesn't have it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'll spend the thirty six, uh, thirty fatigue, and have it uh, not fail. And so you basically have one success. It doesn't, so it's one success. So he's going to have it for what, one turn? One turn, yeah. Um, and so what does one success give you? Uh, one success gives you, uh, sorry, I navigated away from it now. Spiritual weapon. So you get it for one turn. It gives you plus 10 holy damage, plus 10 attack skill. And uh, perception check, uh, or be blinded. At, right. uh, TS of four. Does the holy damage is it damage bonus or base damage it increases? Uh, damage bonus is bon- oh. a damage on top. Okay. And um, the next turn, you can also, as long as Ziggy is within touching range, where you can cast that spell again next turn if you like. Yep. All right. Uh, and- I would also like to, if I could. Um, use my movement action, I suppose, to do this. Uh, I'm trying to get a like religious knowledge read on this situation because it feels like we interrupted some kind of ritual, and um, clearly this thing is quite tough. Um, so basically, a sort of like steer as to what the ritual was, if there's any way of disrupting this creature beyond what we're doing, um, mm-hmm. kind of thing. Right. So it, that's not necessarily. You don't have to use your. Uh... Move yep. action for that. It's a simple action. Go ahead and make a lore uh, divine. Check. 
Uh, I rolled a 28, and my Lord Divine is a 45, so that's two successes. Two successes. Uh, this is... You, it's, it's kind of like a quasi-lich, in mm -hmm. a sense. It's not a full-on full on lich, mm -hmm. um, but the ritual it was casting that was looking, it looks like it was doing a sacrifice. Um, you're not exactly sure for what, though, from this distance. This okay. is, but this is clearly a a minor lich being entity. Um, a full on lich would be much more powerful, and it would be completely uh, fully bodied and all this other stuff. Okay. Cool. All right. That's to here's turn. Braun, your turn again. Okay. Uh, I will activate battle sets. Um... And I will activate option one, so I do not suffer any penalties to your physical defense against flank attacks. Brilliant. Um, and only suffer minus 20 to your physical defense against rear attacks. Just in case. Just in case you get surrounded. Uh, okay, I will then use uh, bash as my uh, shield bash as my move action to slam the shield uh, face first into my opponent, causing them to suffer minus 10 to their next uh, skill attempt versus physical defense. Awesome. So go ahead and roll your uh, skill, your skill proficiency skill. Tell me any successes you got. Uh, I think I have one. Uh, 67. Yeah, that would be one success. And you're doing a, a slam, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so it gains a physical defense to avoid that slam. And it does. It kind of drifts off to the side as you as you punch it with your shield or slam it with your shield. Um, okay, I will then follow up by swinging the shiny sword. Brilliant. Shiny silver sword. Let's go. 49. So that is one, two, maybe three. Yeah. It, three successes. It, uh, it dips and dodges as your, as your sword swings through it. Uh, hitting the flames as it kind of drops down below and kind of comes back up. You swing where it was, where, where the skull was, but it drops down just enough where your, your sword misses and goes through the, uh, the flames. You want to try to strike it again? I will do I it. mean, every time you do, it's just a, it's right now, it's a minus 10, but you get yep. to do it twice. Mm -hmm. Keep still, damn it. Uh, 33, so... What is uh, one success per ten, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So four, four successes. Four. It's got two yeah. successes in its physical defense. So you're going to hit it. Um. So remember, it's two times your base damage, which would be ten plus twelve from the spiritual weapon. So that's twenty-two plus five is twenty-seven plus your stamina modifier, which is eight. Eight. Yeah, my strength um, is eight. As so well. another sixteen. So fifty-one, correct? I believe. Uh, I'll I'll go with you on that one. I believe that's correct. Um, you hit this thing right right across the the chin of it, causing it to howl in pain as the sword digs into the uh, the, the skull's jaw, um, and it drops for a second. The flames dim for just a second. And as you as you pull back from your swing, it reignites, and it it um, the perception check. The yeah, perception check thing does that have to make? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah I'm going to every time it gets hit oh, okay. until it's blinded. Sorry. Um, I've got to deal damage real quick. So we did what? Fifty four. Fifty four. Yeah. All right, and it's perception check. Ooh, which it makes by one success, but it still makes it. Okay. Are you uh, done there, Sir Braun? I am done. All right, Zig, your turn. Right, this uh, guy's still on the floor prone, yeah? Yes, it is. He hasn't strike gotten to his him. turns yet. I'm going to strike him while he's prone. Zero, one. So that's a crit. Nice. That's nice. So make sure make sure you give yourself a heroic lock. Right. Uh, so with a skill now of 60 with the weapon, thanks to the plus 10, that gives me six successes. 
Well, now, because you rolled a critical, roll a single d10. It explodes. You, you rolled a 10? Yep. Roll it again. 10. You rolled a 10 again? Yeah. Roll it again. 5. So, 25, 31, 6. <laughs> uh, we'll just say this thing is, how do you want to do it? I just want to open him up like a zipper. Uh, yeah, it failed its physical defense with its prone prone um, penalty, and you still got 31 successes on this thing. Um, so you uh, literally, as it's on the rolling on the ground, you know, trying to, it's starting to get up, you step, you step uh, between it and uh, to here, you take your Rovad sword and you stick it in a its belly. <laughs> That's essentially what happens, and it comes all the way right up. You just literally unzip it. Um, there's a foul stench of rotting organs as they fall to the ground. You uh, come up right through the middle of the chest. It falls over, split in half. Right. I'm just looking at my friend in, like, shock and admiration. Like, how are you this awesome? Please. <laughs> Just that was that was well. beautiful. That was beautiful. All right, so that is your action there. You have. You... Can I make a second attack at minus ten against this other one if I step up to him? So move your character. Tell me where you're going. There. Brilliant. Yeah, go for it. Then attack for that one. Okay. Go for it. That's a fifteen. So that's a hit, because that'd be a skill of 50. So 40, 30, 12, 40, 30, 20. Three successes. Three successes. It, it gets its physical defense to try to avoid you. And you get to it. It's got three successes as well. It sees you coming after it kind of looks down at what you did to that other zombie. It looks at you and it kind of stumbles backwards just enough that your sword misses it. Ah, son of a bitch. I guess right. that's me done then. All right. <laughs> it decides to return the favor, Ziggy. It swings at you. Beep. It's got two successes. Okay. So I roll weapon skill to defend, yes? Correct. Sorry, defense. Do I roll defense? Yes. Right, I have a physical defense of 48. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. 99. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a critical fumble. Do you want to ignore that, or do you want to roll with the fumble? Um, if I... you decide to use heroic luck to ignore it, um, you will lose your entire yeah, next turn. turn. It ends your turn, and you don't get a next turn as you recover from the fumble. Uh, but if I go with the fumble, I may go on next turn. Yes. Or you okay, may not. Or, to, or you I may not. It depends on the fumble. Work. All right. Do you want me right, to roll your doom or do you want to roll your doom? You can roll my doom for me. Let's see how this works. All right. Oh, embrace come. the chaos. Uh, ca <laughs> embrace the chaos. All right. So, so we need a like drum roll. Here we go. Rolling. I rolled in a 30. That is a melee weapon. So that means your armor malfunctions. Your armor absorption is halved for the oh. next 10, 13 turns. Um, and you do, may. Do you, you round up or down? Uh, I round. I round. I just. I round up. Well, no, it's still 13 turns. It's not like it's going to be an extra 15 turns. It's just 13 turns. No, the armor, it's 11, so if it's halved... It's halved, round up. Okay. And so. you can spend your next full action, your next turn, your entire turn, not doing that, not, you know, not doing anything but correcting your armor malfunction. Yeah. If you so choose. But that, that ends your turn as well. Oh, that's cool. um, but, uh, well, yeah, so but so it's uh 
and it gets a plus three successes on you. So it hits you for uh, five successes, right? Yeah. So five for yeah. five for uh, five successes. So five times its base damage of three for a claw. It's fifteen points of damage. Um, that it, and now it's, your armor's halved. So how many? So fifteen points of damage. Minus six. So nine. What, nine points of damage that you take. Oh, now, okay. now, fourteen. Now you must make a stamina check at a TS of two. Okay, okay. And I have a stamina of sixty-one. And I roll a twenty-five. Fantastic. As this creature hits you, you feel this negative energy and this corruptive, corrosive disease kind of hit you and you 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 resist it mm. all right uh all right brawn two zombie attacks on you sir uh first one is got four successes okay uh defense of 64 uh, 31. Uh, you round up or down? Uh, round up. Round up, so four successes. So four successes. Uh, mm -hmm. And I said I got four, so you guys clash. The other one attacks you. Uh, it's got four successes again. Uh, that one hits. I rolled a 67. Uh, all right. Do you want to roll a uh, re roll that with a heroic luck or do you just want to take it? I'll, I'll take it. I've got like uh, a massive current health bonus on that from. Um, so, off now. but remember, you're using your shield and you've got your hardened leather armor. So you have, you effectively have an armor, uh, armor absorption of 19. It does 12 points of damage to you, 20 points of damage. So you're going to take one point of damage, but that one point of damage, because it got through, you now have to make a stamina check at TS of two. Uh, that was 16 with a stamina of 92. Okay, brilliant. You, f you feel these negative corrosive disease and, uh, infection kind of tear into your skin, but it doesn't seem to have taken hold. Ugh, disgusting. Um, what's up next is the Flaming Skull. It decides that it doesn't like you anymore. And uh, it's going to release. Hold on. So 5, 10, 15. Let's measure distance here. So that's 10, that's 10. All right, so everything around it, <laughs> except the other creatures, uh, you're all going to have to make a stamina check TS of four because it releases this foul stench that smells of death in the area around you. 17 with a stamina of 92. Brilliant. You, you, wouldn't, you uh, shake it off? Uh, TS of four, did you say? TS of four, yes. I failed by two. Do you want to reroll that? Yeah, probably. What's the critical fail value? <laughs> 96 through 100, did you fail? No, no, I've rolled a 95, I'm fine. Oh, okay. So, but you still I'm failed. Gonna spend, I'm going to spend to re-roll. All right, very good. I rolled a 10 on my second one, so I'm good. Brilliant. You shake off this death stench. Nine. Okay, you shake off this... <laughs> You shake off this death sense, but you get the feeling from this, this death sense that had you actually not been able to avoid the effects of it, it would have been very bad, almost considered like an, a poisonous-like effect. Um, it then lashes out at you, Ron. It's going to bite. Okay. It's got four successes. Okay. Yeah, that's bit me. I have uh, one, maybe. 
one, so yeah, three, one it, uh, it's going to hit you for three successes. So it does uh, nine, 15 points of damage, which your armor absorbs. So you don't have to worry about anything. So just remember, if I, if I say anything less than 19, you can just go armor absorb. And then we right. can end that very quickly. Um, and it is... Going to be done. All right, to here, it's your turn. Oh, uh, I'm re-enchanting Ziggy's weapon. Very good, because as you get begin ready to cast it, you see uh, Ziggy's weapon diminish. Yeah. Uh, I'll spend a heroic luck. Uh, that's better. Uh, two successes. So um, you're going to want to write this one down, Zig. Yeah, that's plus eleven damage. Uh, and it will last for two two turns. And you still get the plus 10 to attack and uh, the plus 11 damage, and it's got the blinding feature. Okay. I'm going to need that because, because of my current wounds, I'm minus three successes to all attack rolls. Ouch. Um, cool. How badly hurt do you look? How much... Uh, I'm over half. Over half. Yeah, he's got uh, a pretty good hit on him. He's bleeding kind of loosely. I'm a weedy little fella. Okay. Um, try and stay alive. I'll be back in a second, I say. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, move down to this altar. And just check out what's going on there. Like you said, there was a woman on there that was bleeding. Um, so you get there and you notice that uh, the woman, the, the, it, it's, a, uh, it's a human female. Um, mm -hmm. Her skin is an ashen color. Um, and there is a large pool of blood underneath her. And on oh. top and sitting on top of her is a dagger wound in her belly um there's a dagger wound and just sitting on top of her is looks like the sacrificial dagger okay um i'm gonna knock the sacrificial dagger off her okay um and um will i be able to stabilize her with mundane healing because i don't have a spell left this round uh go ahead and do a healing check Yeah, card sheet, card sheet. It's the problem with playing online, you end up with so many screens open. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like when you've got actual physical books in front of you, you can just have as many open as you want and just all just spread out. Uh, healing, healing, healing. Uh, healing, uh, I don't have. So it would be, oh no, I've got a five in healing. I don't know how that happened. Um, I think so that's because I'm meant to put my intelligence in there that's my intelligence bonus yeah so go ahead and so, take it so it's 40 plus your intelligence spotter so it'd be yeah. 45 at this point 45 yeah uh i'll spend a heroic luck to re-roll that <laughs> uh that's better um so that's uh three successes four successes uh as you knock the dagger off and you feel her skin it's ice cold is dead dead as far as you can tell she's not breathing okay and she's the her skin is an ashen gray and is very cold to the touch okay Bugger. okay cool i think that will probably be the end of my turn all right brilliant ron your turn bud okay um i will battle cry again <laughs> why do you I... sound like arnold schwarzenegger when you say that because that's how I talk. It's not. <laughs> I'm I'm it sounds Italian. like him. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to then use my bash move again. As a move action, I slam him in the face. So, 31, so 31, 2, 3, 4. Uh, okay, my skill's 31, and I have a... No, no, you're using your shield. You're using your shield bash. 
your shield yeah. your shield slam, which is your is 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 a check against your shield yeah. skill score, which yeah. I believe is sixty eight. Yeah. And you rolled a thirty one. Yeah. That's so four that successes. Be... Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. All right, so that's four successes. Um, okay. and it actually let's see here. Uh, it fails, and I think you knock that back. How far back do you knock? It? Um. No, it doesn't. It just uh, knocks minus 10 on their physical defense. No, but I also think it knocks it back. It is the punch action that knocks them back. There's bash and there's shield. Oh, sorry, there's bash and there's punch. It's the punch action that knocks them back. So what are you using, bash or... or... Bash. Bash. Okay, I thought you were saying slam. Bash. So yeah, so it's a minus 10 to its physical. It's next physical defense. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what else do you want to do? That was your... Move action. Move action. So I'm then going to follow with my mighty shiny sword and smack him around the face. Zero nine. Uh, all right, brilliant. How many successes do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six or seven? That'll be seven. So seven successes on the attack. What is your critical hit range? It is one to fifteen. So roll a critical hit. Uh, how do I do that? Roll a d10, just like Ziggy okay. did. And if you roll a 10, roll it again. And if you roll a 10, roll it again. That's a cop dice. That is a 9. So nine. you've uh, got uh, 9 plus your normal total number of successes. How many do you have? So, 17, six, was it? Six, 16. So 16. Um, I've actually got a physical defense. Uh, it made it, so I've got 6. You only get 10 successes. You only get 10 success. <laughs> is that, is, was that physical defense at minus 10? Uh, that was, well, so I rolled my, my physical gosh. defense. No, I rolled my physical defense. You had, and I got 10 successes. You have a total of 16. I got six successes. Sorry, six successes. Oh, okay. You got a total of 16 successes. So my six successes negate your six, uh, six successes. Sorry, so you have a total of 10 successes. So 10 times your base plus all those awesome modifiers. 50 plus um, 8, so 58. Do I have my strength as well? Yes, because it's a so, strength based weapon. 58, uh, 66. Uh, what else does that add? All from me. Oh, yeah, uh, 68. Uh, 12 from you, so uh, 70, 80. And you get five from your battle cry as well. Uh, yes, I do. So eighty-five. Eighty-five. Deputy game master, there. <laughs> All right. It shrieks in howling pain. The skull goes completely blank. It's just sitting there floating for a minute as it kind of tries to re regather itself. You hit it very, very hard, and a few seconds later. The flame comes back, but it's not as bright or as brilliant this time. It looks like it's diminishing. <clears throat> you want to hit it again? Of course. What kind of barbarian would I be if I didn't want to hit it again? <laughs> that is a miss. That well, good thing, because as you go to swing for it, it kind of like <laughs> drops a little bit, either out of, out of the fact that it's losing energy or it actually dodged your failed attack. You could always throw a heroic look to swing again. You could. Uh, Absolutely. Go on then. Go on then. Are you gonna re-roll it? I will re-roll it. Brilliant. Uh fifty-eight so one. No. Yeah, one. Go one on success. Ten, All right, it will roll its defense. Yeah, that time it, it definitely dodges out of the way. It slips underneath your blade. It's there. That's don't forget that's at minus ten because of the shield smack. Yeah. Uh, it's still even with the minus ten, it still dodges out of the way. All right, Ziggy, uh, unless, Bron, do you have anything else you want to do? No, I'm done. All right, the, the, Ziggy, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to smack this one right in front of me. I'm going to nip away for a quick drink. Yep. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's a roll of 50, which at minus three successes so is determined going to be a miss. Yeah, so yeah, you always want to determine your successes and subtract three. So, all right, so you missed. You I want to try it again? Basically, 
that was ten under. Um, I'll spend a heroic look. All right, brilliant. Let me roll that. Yeah, oh, no, that's a mi- that's over my skill now. Nah, missed. Missed. Yeah. All right. Um, you want to try to hit it again? You got two attacks. Yeah, I'll go again. Might as well. Fifteen. So that'd be a fifty skill, forty, thirty, three successes, minus three successes. So even with a hit, I've no successes. <laughs> so yeah, you 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 go to hit it. You're bleeding so badly. You're holding on to the wound, and you go to strike. Blood is in your hands, and you kind of slip the sword a little bit, and it it almost drops out of your hand as you go to swing, as you miss. Ziggy, what else do you want to do? You still have your move, uh, simple and basic. I'm going to move. Hang on. Uh, round here, out of his way. So I'm in a bad way. Another good hit on me, and I'm done for, I reckon. Well, I don't know if you'd die, but you'd definitely be at holding zero on death's door. That's for sure. Um, all right, that's the end of that one. So uh, it's the Flaming Skull and his zombie horde. Uh, the zombies on you, Braun, are going to make swings at you. Uh, the first one misses. And the second one misses. The Flaming Skull is going to try to bite at you. And with its negatives, it's only got two successes on, on you. Essentially, if you fail this, I'm only going to do six, 12 points of damage. So don't fail it. Even if you fail it, it's going to be armor. So never mind. Let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> Got to like the armor. Um, it then, though, is going to take a second and is going to cast a negative energy ray at you. Ot one critical. Now. Here's what you get to do. Do you want to choose to ignore this critical? That would be too heroic luck. Otherwise, I'm going to roll again because that was a 10. And I got 11. I got 21 successes on you right now if you, if you do not ignore that critical hit. Can't hear you, Bron. Sorry, I was muted. No worries. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll ignore it. I'll All right. To ignore it. Um, so I've only got nine successes on you, and it's a energy ray, a negative one. So it's going to do 27 points of damage. Uh, that is, so you basically, okay, so you're going to ignore that. So you still have your magical or divine check to do. So you've got nine successes. Roll your magical defense. Um, yeah, none. I rolled 96. Okay. That is a critical fumble. Do you want to ignore oh. that? So if you ignore that critical fumble, you're going to miss your entire next turn. I'll, I'll ignore it. All right, so re-roll. Zero, two. So that's a crit. So roll your crit. <laughs> and also gain heroic luck. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, so I roll a d10 on add. And add, what, add that to your physical defense, your magical defense. Uh, so it's rounded it up to 50. No, no, you don't round that up. You just went, no. so you're at 48? I'm, well, my defense is 42 and I rolled an 8. So you rolled a 42. You rolled an ot 2. So you've got four, five successes so far. Now roll your d10 and you rolled an 8. So now you've got 12 successes total. Um, yeah, you completely, this energy ray hits you directly in the center of the chest and dissipates as the energy flows through your arms and your legs and you feel this electrical charge and all your fur um, kind of stands up on end again. But brilliantly done, because that would have been bad. <laughs> it would have been real bad had I actually hit you with that. Um, and... The zombie 
moves to so five ten. It comes around the corner after you zig. <laughs> yeah, kind of expected. Uh, and it's got one success on you. Seventy-five. Any you reroll? Um, you Watch your heroic luck levels. You're gonna need them later. I'm gonna save what heroic luck I've got left. So you failed on your physical defense? Uh, yeah, my physical defense with the sword is 53. So that's uh, two <laughs> failures. I I don't count the failures. All we care about is whether you fail, whether you succeed or not. So it's gonna hit you. Okay. It's gonna do uh, 11 points of damage to you. How much? What's your armor? Well, uh, my armor is currently six. So you're gonna take. We haven't reset it. Right. So you're gonna take five physical defense. Five. I'm sorry. Five points of damage. Okay. Okay. And make a stamina check at yes so two. Puts me at. Hang on. Fourteen minus five puts me at nine. Nine. You're hurting, Zig. You're hurting. I'm two points off the uh, all physical and physical defenses, so for minus six successes. Yes, it is. So, what did you ask me to roll? Uh, stamina check. Yes, a two. Eighty-seven. Nope. Ooh, sick. Uh, <laughs> do you want <laughs> do you want to uh, re-roll that, or are you just going to absorb it? I'll spend uh, heroic look to re-roll that. Come on, come here. You bastard dies. 99. Oh, God. You are doomed to catch this. You, as you, as you stumble back, you feel the claws of, the, of this creature dig into your flesh, and suddenly you feel your left arm kind of begin to go numb as, as this disease kind of spreads into your chest. Now you've got this black oozing spot where it dug its fingers into you. Um, yeah, and we'll get to what's happening later if you survive. Lovely. If you survive. <laughs> All right. Um, that's the zombie's turn. Uh, that's that one. And we are done. To hear, you heal, you, you heal, you hear Ziggy squeal in pain and kind of stumble back. You kind of turn your head and you kind of see him stumble back. Um, from where you're at, and you see this 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 creature has literally got its claws dug into his left shoulder. I said, "Don't die." Um, I'm going to move over to Ziggy, and I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Uh, uh, one success. So that's uh, so that's going to be six. fifteen plus your charisma modifier plus one. Uh, yeah, um, my charisma modifier is five, so 21 points of damage back. All right, Ziggy, you take 21 points back. I think that brings you back to f almost full, doesn't it? Uh, let's see, nine plus 21, it'll take me to 20, take me to 30. My max self is 27. So yeah, you're, feel, you, you, you're healed back to full. You feel your energy coming back. However... The wound that was caused by that creature and where its fingers are is still black and oozing. Yeah, I reckon I've got this black hand patch right over my heart. More or less. Yeah, that's cool. Anything else you want to do to here? That was your move and a full action. Uh, ch -ch -ch. uh no, if you want, you can. Any. So if you want to maybe do a divine lord either a lord yeah. divine check or yeah or a divine knowledge check either one of those will work yep for sure uh ch -ch -ch. uh no i failed it i'll spend a heroic luck i passed that one with four successes you know that certain undead creatures mm -hmm. can turn other this is how zo how zombies propagate they turn living creatures into other zombies. And mm -hmm. you've seen this wound before. He's got days to live. Days. Okay. <laughs> cool. That days I can deal with. Um, is it a disease? 
It is a magical disease. It's called undeath. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to see whether I can cast the cure disease spells. Um, um, if I've got... Right, out of character. As long as the ref doesn't mind this. Save. If it, I've got days, save it until we get out of here. Yeah, I will do, but I'm just trying to work out whether, because I've got to go get something similar removed, so I've got days <laughs> as well. Do we get a group discount? <laughs> frequent flyer mark. Frequent, frequent flyer mark. Frequent dyer. Frequent dyer, there you go. All right, Ron, it looks like it's your turn. You're the only one that seems to have no issues with anything. Ziggy, are you all right? Do you, need to come, do you need me to come help you? Stay with them. This bastard's mine. All right. I will activate battle sense uh, to avoid flanking penalties. I will then use my shield bash against the flamey face. Flame face. Uh, that is a shield check, isn't it? Uh, that is a fail. Okay. Um, so I will just swing my sword and see what it does. 22. And you're going against the flaming skull, yes? Six. Yep, so that's six. Six successes. And seven successes. It and attempts to successes. dodge out of the way like it's been doing. It kind of dips, but instead of zigging, it zags right into your sword. Uh, it doesn't give you any bonuses, but it did fail its, its defense. So go ahead and hit me with all six. So, so let me do this. So six successes for that. Uh, um, my damage. Do I times that by my base damage? Yeah. So you take your base times your base. You take your total successes by your base times your base. So I believe that's thirty. Yeah. So plus twelve 50, from the spiritual weapon. Forty-two, fifty-two with the stamina. It makes its perception checks, so but still. It's not blinded. So 50, 52, 60, 65, I believe. 65 points of damage? Yeah. All right. Let's pull this bad boy up. 65, and then you hit it um, in, a, in a fierce strike. And how do you want to do this? Nice. I will shove the the glowing sword right through his nose <laughs> right through the nose yeah i will how big is this thing the skull it's yeah. human size maybe a little yeah. bigger can i leave it on the end of my sword <laughs> whilst it's dead so next round i can use it as a club if you want to do that, you can, but you are in, it, you would effectively be turning your sword into a club, and I don't think you have proficiency oh, with that. Oh, yeah, that's true. If that's what you want to do. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll not do that. I will I'll run it through the nose, pick it up in the air, and then fling it down onto the floor and let it explode into a million pieces. Brilliant. Floor. So you go through and you stab this thing in the in the in the, in the nose. Your sword pierces through the back of the skull. The flames it screeches out in this howling pain. The flames get very bright and very intense for a brief second, and it then collapses back into this white crimson like uh, crim uh, this white skull. You take it and you bring your sword all the way up and you just shatter it on the ground. At the same time, it just poosh, explodes. It, um, it explodes into this very fine dust. Anything else, Bron? Uh, I can't make any other attacks, can I? Uh, well, yeah, you can make one more attack. Sure, you can make an attack on one of the zombies. You still got two attacks. Okay, I mean, you've I'll, got uh, one more attack. You have two attacks normally. Minus. So this one would be at minus 20, wouldn't it? Uh, no, this would be a minus 10. You only made one attack. Oh, yeah, I did there. Okay, so I will turn to face the nearest zombie and swing Swing away. Zero seven. Woo. One, two, three, four, five. That's 
five successes. I've got my mic turned up all the way as I can, Seeker. I apologize for that. I don't know. Five, five successes. Against the zombie to the north? Yeah. That sounds 25. All right, all five get through. 25. Forty-eight, I believe. Give my strength, stamina, and the plus five. Oh, and plus twelve, holy. These these take the holy, don't they? Yeah, they should do. Uh, plus twelve, holy. Yeah. No, so fifty-four things, right? Is it any uh, better, uh, seeker? I turned up my gain. How many points of damage did you do? Fifty-four. 54. The, it's, how do you want to do this one? I will cleave the zombie in twain. You, you, after you shatter the skull on the ground, you look to the zombie and you bring your sword up in a sweeping arc. It begins to reach for you. You can feel the, the coldness of, the, of its clawed hands reaching for your face. And you bring the, 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 your, the Zunkel sword, right? Or Brazerio? Beckhart. Okay, your Beckhart sword. Right up through the middle of it. Um, slashing this thing in half in twain. One, one part of it falls to the left. The other one, the, the legs and the upper torso kind of stand there for a second, and it falls to the ground. However, it's still moving. Keep your hands to yourself. Very cool. Um, anything else, Bron? Uh, right now, um, no, I don't think I can do anything else. All right. I'll just stand ready to receive the the oncoming attack of the other zombie. All right, Ziggy, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to go for this one in front of me. That's a uh, nine. So that's a critical for me. That is a critical for you. And Please. I don't have any penalties to the attack because I got healed. That's correct. Thank you. What I'm here for. That's a ten. And a nine. So that's 50, 40, 30, 12, 5 plus. 24 successes. 24 successes. So 24 times 3. Let's, let's ignore that. It failed its physical defense. How do you want to do this? Literally, feeling the pain in his chest, just looks down, looks up, and just runs the sword into its gut. Then grabs it with both hands, just turns and just straight up and just cleaves it in half. Oh, that's a brilliant attack. So you take the sword, it goes in through its, its, uh, its center gut. You take both hands and you rip it straight up, just similar to like we did with the first one. You, z uh, you unzip it, you hear this flesh tear, and the guts kind of fall down at your feet. It's got this real staunch, deathly smell. Make a stamina check so you don't throw up. Nope, failed that. <laughs> <laughs> he does this, he's excited, boom, and then all the guts to here kind of like fall at his feet and he's like <laughs> grinning at you and he goes, Bleh! Thank you for the follow seeker, I appreciate it. Do I have to roll to see how far I vomit? No, you just kind of throw up at your feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Last, ye yesterday's dinner, what, what, what's left of it is on the floor mixing with the guts. So yeah, it's a nice, wonderful smell now. Um, and that's fermented cheese, fermented cheese and some vegetables. <laughs> oh, no. God. Um, all right, Ziggy, anything else you want to do? That was your full attack. Your throw up was no, a basic I'm, action. So you still got some movement. I'm just going to put me back against the wall and just sort of, you know, after just throwing up, he's just feeling a bit, need to find his center again. All right. Uh, the zombie moves forward towards you, Bron. That's gone. And it swings its clawed, gnarly hands at you. Uh, it's got a crit. Oh, dear. Uh, I've got a total of... Unless you ignore it. I've got a total of... Seven... Sixteen it. successes. I'll, uh, I'll take it. So, sixteen times three is... What? 18, 48 points of damage, right? 48? 
uh, plus eight, so fifty-six points of damage. How and but you've got nineteen. You got nineteen armor, so basically it's ignoring twenty. So fifty-six minus twenty is thirty-six points of damage that you'll take. It shouldn't be too bad for you, but you must make a stamina check PS4. 22, stamina 8. Not to a stamina 92, so... 7. 7 successes. Alright. You, again, feel this, this dark negative energy kind of tries to take over your body, but you, you, you robustly and manly or doggedly uh, <laughs> chase it off. <laughs> All right. Um, it's your turn to hear. Okay. Um, how many times do you have left on your spiritual weapon? Uh, Bron, was it one turn or two turns? I believe total of five. So, how many combat rounds have we had? Uh, he, I think he's got oh, one turn left. Yes, one so turn left. Coming up to finishing it. Okay, and Ziggy's is about to finish as well. Correct. Correct. Um, but Bron, you're injured, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm fine. Yeah, but it's my job. Um, you can heal me if you want. Yeah, I'll run up behind Bron and uh, cast Cure Wounds on him. So that's so many points of fatigue. It's getting very expensive. I'm running out, actually. Um, you should be really are out. You've already spent 30. Yeah, I've got, I'm got on 97 out of 121. You should be way lower than that. Oh, I see. You're counting up. I see what you're doing. Okay, you're counting up. Yeah, I'm counting up. Yeah. Right, right. So okay. when I hit 121, that's when I. Yeah, you basically <laughs> pass out. Pass out. Yeah. For at least um, an hour. Yes. Uh, divine knowledge. Uh, zero six. So that is fifteen twenty. Uh, one two three four five. Uh, twenty five. Um, hit points you got back. Nice. How long do you have to rest to regain some fatigue? So, uh, when you decide to, when you guys decide to rest, you re you recover. Uh, I believe it's ten points of fatigue plus your stamina modifier per hour if you're just resting. If you're adventuring and moving around, it's five stamina per hour. Okay, cool. So, like, if you're like if you're walking, but not it, but not doing anything, it's five out. It's five uh, per hour. Um, if you're riding on the back of a wagon, it's 10 plus your stamina per, per hour, basically. You can't oh, really be sweet. doing any massive activity, and walking is considered massive activity. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that the end of your turn there, Tihir? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, Braun. It's up to you. What are you going to do? It's the last one. The last one. The last one. It is just me and you now. Split of the times. I'll, uh... Right, let's take a look at my shield. Uh, let's see. Okay, I will shield bash. One success. That's my move action. Um, against this guy, he actually has got one success as well. Fair enough. I will follow up with the sword. Uh, that's a miss. Uh, my second attack. Nine, ten. Fifteen, that's a bit better. Well, I think that's a critical, actually. That is a critical uh, for you. Um, and it actually misses its physical defense, so go ahead and roll your critical, and then, how do you want to do this? Well, since, uh, 
they all seem to have been cle- cleaven, uh, cloven, cloven, cloven down the middle. Cloven. I will uh, slice him straight down the middle. Like that seems like the way to kill these things. So you're gonna go right down the middle of it. Yeah. Um. So you take your sword and you start at the top. You come slashing in and slashing the arc. You catch it in the, its collarbone and you just kind of just drag your sword through the center of its body. It hangs up for a second as you hit the rib cage and you just whip. It's like you just carved this section out of it. And one part of the body, the left side with one arm just falls to the side. And the other part just kind of slides off to the bottom. This group of now massive amount of putrid guts sitting at your feet. Um, you feel this need to maybe. <clears throat> release your stomach. So go ahead and make a stamina check. Uh, zero nine. Yeah, you kind of, you kind of, and you just kind of bring it back. It is a foul smell in here right now, gentlemen. And that is the end of that particular combat that we started. Um, let's go ahead and uh, to move away from the bodies. You're going to stumble away from the bodies? Right on. Sorry, you had to split. Uh, 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 at least you didn't say stick around. No, I'm just uh, <laughs> looking around at all the, the leftovers on the floor thinking, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it. Oh, that's so gross. You don't want to eat these things. It's... Yep, but he's a dog person. I mean, when dogs throw up, what's the first thing they do? Right? It's in the corner. Right. It's in the corner. <laughs> try, try not to go eat Ziggy's vomit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. So, That's what do you guys want to do? I want to check out the altar. All right, brilliant. And I'll see stand... if I can find any indication who this person was. I'll stand guard by the door. Because I've got really good perception and stuff. So, if anybody does come, I've got that covered. Um,. Let's go ahead and say this. Uh, you uh, go over to the uh, the altar there to here, and beyond the body, as you begin to examine it, um, it looks like she's been dead for hours or maybe a few minutes. It's really hard to tell, but her skin is definitely ashen. The blood is really drained out from underneath her. It's pulled up underneath her in this small, like, uh, uh, indention inside the stone altar. Um, around her, you find a key the sacrificial dagger and a coin pouch okay um i'll pack those away um so the key is there anything in here that would take a key i haven't seen anything with a lock so far have no I? not so far you haven't okay i say um i say to ziggy and bron uh i'd like her to I'd like to take her up to the temple above before we um, continue onwards. If we fall here, I don't think this is an appropriate place for someone to lie in state. Want me to carry her? I'll do it. I'll um, lift her up gently, and I'm going to carry her back up to the temple. Okay. Um, are you going to leave the pouch behind? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll say, Ziggy, there's a coin pouch there if you want to look it up. Plus, can I move? <laughs> I'll go grab the coin pouch. Knowing my luck, it'll be a voodoo pouch, and I'll be cursed with that. <laughs> I'm shaking my head because of all the cheese jokes. <laughs> We're the coolest people. <laughs> you expect puns from me. I have to... You know, entertain my audience. It's your entire channel stick. I wouldn't like. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, they're a bit stringy though. <laughs> Bree, please stop. <laughs> um, I'm not good with puns when it comes to cheese. I'm really not. Um, so you take her to the, you take you know take your time. You get up to the temple and stuff like that. The smoke is pretty yep. much cleared out. Um. There's, you know, every now and again, as you guys get up there, you know, someone's looking in, like, you know, what's going on, and they move on. Uh, there's a couple of guards that have taken up position at the front door to try to keep uh, people from entering. Uh, 
I'll go to the guards, uh, still carrying the body in my hand, in my arms, and I'll say, um, we found a nest of undead down below. We're clearing it out, but this person was a victim to them. The guard kind of turns to you and goes, Gotcha, mate. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll have someone come take her, uh, take her back to a temple for proper burial. Thank you. And uh, could you let the Temple of Elal know that um, if we don't make it back up, then uh, you send in a force? Understood. Okay. Hey, we'll be back. <laughs> what do you guys continue to do? You make your way back down, yeah? Yeah, we make our way back down, I think. Unless anyone has any strong objections to that. Let's finish this. Okay. Um, we haven't checked either of these side rooms, did we? Uh, don't think so. Um, so if we check the top one, we checked the top one with the two sarcophagi in it. We didn't check this one or this one right here. We came down here and then went straight. I realise now that you can't see my cursor on the screen. Um, oh, there's a drawing tool, isn't there? Yes. Sir. Uh, we. Yeah, where is it? There we go. So we came down here and went like that. Um, right. Yep. Uh, race all. Uh, so we haven't checked this one or this one yet. Right. No, I suggest the small one first. Well, it's the closest one on the way back, isn't it? Yeah. Siggy, do you want to check the door? Yep. I will. And um, that's a ba da ba da ba ba da bam. Am I using Trapcraft? Trapcraft, which I have a skill of 57 in. And a roll of 46. So oh, that's one success. Well, and when you get up to the door, um, you look at the handle, you look at the, and you just kind of twist it. A little bit, and it just the door kind of just pops open. I'm just going to step to the side immediately because knowing my luck, maybe I fireball a lot of something. <laughs> this place has got me paranoid. I don't blame you. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I'll look in the room. Well, Ziggy steps to the side. Uh, when you look in, you notice that the small cub cubicle um, has a small table on it, uh, and there's a an Assyri's corpse laying on it. Um, all around the room, on various shelves, on shelves are various tools and jars filled with strange liquids and organs. Nice. Um, I'll check the corpse. Uh, how long do I reckon it's been dead for? Uh, give me a healing check. Uh, that was 45, so, uh, no, I failed. You really can't tell, but it's, it, it looks longer than a day. Has it started stinking? No. Okay. Because most of its organs are missing. Joy. Okay. Um, we'll check the other room and then I'll take that one up as well. Uh, does it have any identification on it, like papers or anything in his pockets? Uh, it's actually naked. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll whisper a prayer to Alal over it, and I'll cover it over with a blanket from my pack. And then we can go check the other room. All right. Who's going in first? Ziggy? Okay, I'll scout. I'll go in using stealth and guile. Check the door for traps first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll check for traps first. Twenty-two with the skill of fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Forty-seven. Thirty-seven. Yeah, technically, anything that you're going to be like investigating, like your stealth, your trap craft, and your uh, Open pit, open locks. It's something I should really be rolling for you because you don't really know how successful you were. Oh, you know? right. But no big deal. No worries. Um, I didn't mention it beforehand. Um, so yeah. there doesn't seem to be any. So far, you haven't run into any traps on any of these doors. Okay. It's 
probably sensible if it's being used regular. You know, you really wouldn't want to trap a place if you're going to be using it a lot. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll go in and have a look around. I will stand closely behind him as he's going through in case he needs backup. Uh, you open the door, and beyond the door there is a small bed, a small desk, and a bunch of scrolls lying on the desk. A single unlit candle sits on the desk. From your perspective. Okay. I'll step in and immediately step to the right as I step in. So I'm in the corner, so I've got a good angle view of the entire room. Okay. It's empty oh. other than what I've described. I'll come in and take a look at the scrolls. I will stand in the doorway. Um, go ahead and make a divine, lore divine. And if you have lore magical, also lore, lore magical. Yeah, just lore divine, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, my other lore is lore history. Okay. Uh, 12 out of 45, so that's four successes. Um, as you open, you look at these scrolls, and a lot of them seem frustratingly unfinished, um, mm -hmm. or or messed up attempts at what looks to be like he was someone was attempting to uh, scroll a animate dead on these things. But so far, it looks like they haven't. They've either not finished or they have failed in their Okay, is there any indication as to you'd like a name or anything like that? Uh, no. No, okay, cool. Um, in which case, uh, I'm going to go collect the body of the a series and I'll take that upstairs as well. All right. Same routine, you pick it up. Uh, yeah. They, just the as you... bodies are infected first. Um, it's missing most of its organs, isn't it? And yeah. is there any sign of, like, black infection or... No. No. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll take it upstairs, and uh, I'll hand that one over, same routine. And I'll say uh, most of its organs are downstairs uh, still. Uh, we'll bring them out once we've finished. And then back down. <laughs> Sorry to be doing the up and down, but it just, um, I don't think my character would leave. Oh, absolutely not. They wouldn't, yeah, he would not, would not leave anything like that down there. Yeah. Okay. Almost gentlemen. Right then. I will scout this uh, darkened corridor. You want me to roll per... Um, no, no, go ahead and roll. Uh, so you, what are you doing? With, uh, you're going to be just, are you just looking down the corridor? Are you proceeding down the corridor? What, what is your intention? What, what is it you want to do? Besides, obviously, um, make it. Through. Making a judgment call that this, if, if this is being used, it's not going to be trapped. So I'm just going to go down, just making a general check it out as I go down there, carefully. Yeah, we'll check it out. Um, go ahead and make an alertness check, real quick. Okay, well, that's a good skill for me, it's alertness. Is that oh, all got a, you have 68 and I rolled a 67, so, yes. You're, it's, it's, uh, you're, uh, kind of taken aback by how quiet it is now, um, <clears throat> in this, in this corridor. Um, there's an echoing of your own footsteps, even as soft padded as they are. Um, but you're not really noticing anything unusual in the corridor as you make your way down. Um, gotcha. We're just going to use... I'm zero... oh, sorry, I rolled a zero one. Right. Again, on it's pretty much the same. You're not really noticing anything. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to use Ziggy's figure as for the party. Uh, for the party. Oh, okay. We don't have to do that. That's fine. Um, you notice that there is a... It turns into a staircase that goes down a little... goes down several... 
feet and a door to your right. Let's finish off this level before we go downstairs, I think is the sensible course of action. Makes sense to me. Don't want anything sneaking up behind us. Okay, I'll go check the door for traps again. You make your way over to the door. Yeah, if you'd care to roll for me. Uh, you approach the door like you have been uh, normally um, with caution, and you get up there, and again, it's you don't find a trap. You don't you don't find or see any remnants of any type of trap being attached to the door. Right. Step in, and again, as I step in, I'm going to clear the doorway. So if there is something in there. I'm not going to hinder the party behind me coming in to save my ass. Smart. So it'll be in and to this corner, which I can't really see fully because... Right. As you guys make your way into the corner, I need all of you to make a... Uh... Let's see here. So, save versus death ray? No. Uh, I need you to make a willpower horror check at a TS of four. Because as you open the door and step in, inside the room are numerous corpses hanging from the ceiling, rope nooses hanging from their necks, um, and you can hear a faint you can hear faint whispers of their pleading to spare them. Um, in the far end of the corner of the room is a large chest and a chair. Make your horror checks. Let me know who failed. It's a TS okay. of four. So what I rolled horror 60. against? 60. Uh, on your character, it's a willpower check. On the bottom part of your front part of your character sheet is that gray box. It's got your will, uh, willpower versus horror, which is your willpower. And it's a oh. TS of four. I've got an 85, so let's see what I roll. Yeah, I've got a 70 and a roll of 35, so that's 70. 60, 50, 40, 30. Mm, three successes. And none of us passed. I'll spend a heroic luck and try again. Six successes. Wait two on the dice. Or seven, maybe. I don't know. I'll save my heroic luck. No, I still failed. Both of you roll me a d100 and tell me what you each get. So let's go with Ziggy first. You guys are so horrified by this. You will be having, you will have a, some sort of horror effect applied. Uh, 99. Roll twice. Roll two times, Ziggy. 98. And 94. Wow, you need some different dice, bud. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a box full in the living room. I could just go grab some. Wouldn't mind the, those roll on all these dice anyway. Uh, these, the normally chipper and I, w I would almost say Chatty Mannix suddenly falls into a moot, mute kind of. Uh, it just basically shuts down. He shuts down and then he becomes enraged. Oh. Um, so, what this means is that you are, you are unable to speak. For 16, 17 hours, you, your, your mind is so fixated on the image in front of you that words seem distant and unable to be spoken. Even when you begin to try to speak, you, you, you kind of babble your words together. Um, your enraged is basically this, that any time that you uh, are surprised, you gain, you've got this, this this horror effect, rage. Um, and it'll last for several days that you gain. So we need to write this down so you know this. So anytime that you are surprised in an encounter, you instantly go into a... You, you rage. You basically, it's, it's literally a rage. You just start attacking everything and everybody around you in a sense. You're... Uh, Now you're granted a willpower check to avoid it should it occur, but you're uh, this this is a uh, an effect that seems like it's going to last for a long time. 
to hear roll your own doom I'll roll my own doom da, da, da. i rolled a 80. excuse me a moment i'm gonna get some different dice <laughs> good choice um roll low. and your entire experiences so far in this particular area has been one of curiosity in a sense of like you're trying to figure out what's going on you now become solely enthralled with the nature of this evil that has, that, that has caused it um you actually approach the hanging bodies and gently you examine the bodies enthralled with how they died and the amount of evil that it would have taken for some being to actually do this to the 12 to 15 individuals that are hanging from the ceiling um not only does this bother you now, you begin to have thoughts of all the evil and undead that you have experienced while you're down here. And every, it's just like you can't get it, you can't shake it out of your head. And it's, 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 it's enthralling to you. You just, in your moments of silent reverie, you begin thinking about it. In fact, you even begin speaking it to Braun and, and uh, Ziggy. Like, you're just enthralled with it can't stop thinking about it now. Okay, cool. How long does that last for? Until I say you're done. Okay. It's going to last a while. It really will. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to last for ooh, several hours. Several hours. Okay, no worries. So just make sure you've got that effect written down. Yeah, I'll just jot it down right here. Horrified and enthralled with horror. So, what do you guys want to do now? Um, I can see Ziggy's quite badly shaken up. Is Bron looking okay? Bron? Yeah, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I see this kind of thing all the time. Um, I'm going to kneel down by Ziggy. And uh, I'll say, uh, would you like to pray? It'll make you feel better. Mm. Okay. He, um, he try start... he tries to speak to you and it just comes out in in like garbly goop babble. I start praying to Alal. Um I start with a very generic sort of prayer and then uh as per my horror, I start uh drifting into the specifics of this place like dwelling on the evil that has been done to these people but also the need for good folk like us to overcome it with the strength of Alal uh, guiding us uh, and I would like to invoke a uh, holy voice um, which uh, allows any willing creature I choose within 20 feet who have been frightened, possessed, dominated, horrified or magically held to make a willpower check to break free or regain control. Brilliant. Well, I can continue to speak, uh, allowing them to take another chance every time. Brilliant. So Ziggy, go ahead and make your willpower check. You died. <laughs> At this time, I'm gonna, I'll be kneeling in front of Ziggy. I'll put my hands on his shoulder and hand him my drinking skin. Go here, <laughs> this might take the edge off. Okay, so that's a roll of 41 with a... Horror of seventy. No, it's just a willpower check. So as long as you roll below oh, your willpower sorry. check, you he uh he you hear yeah, the willpower of seventy. You willpower hear, of seventy-four. You hear the voice of Tahir breaking through this 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 focus of rage and the inability to speak words, and you focus on Tahir's voice, and slowly you feel this this horrific experience kind of drift to the back of your mind, and then completely disappears, and you feel very calm and reassured by. As he's, as he's speaking to you in this voice. And then in front of um, you, you got this, here, mate, take a drink of this. <laughs> I will place That's one me. hand on Tahir's shoulder and just nod while a single tear sort of wipes it away. Has a drink and hands the drinking pouch back. And... It's a, so the rule on this says that 
you know, you're invoking a holy voice, any, allowing any willing creature you choose within 20 feet who have been frightened and possessed. And since you've actually called upon Elal yourself, I'm going to go ahead and allow you to make the same check. Willpower. Sweet. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure whether I decided not to deliberately target myself in the end because I don't think I would be aware that there was a problem with how I was thinking. Um, but you did say, you know, you did sit down and where you decided to make a prayer to Elal first yeah. and then you use this holy voice. So I'm gonna kind of let you, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of talk you, let you, let you talk yourself out of it by talking to Ziggy. Can I spend a heroic luck on that? Because I failed. <laughs> uh, that's better. Yes, I passed. Cool. Brilliant. So we are going to end there today, gentlemen. Thank you so much. We are at, come to our time. Um, Thank you very much. much. It's been an honor gaming with you guys, and it's been an honor taking you through uh, Legends of Kralis. Um, and we will pick up in two weeks, same Telarius game channel, same Telarius game time, and, uh, I'll be right back, gentlemen. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, they've made their way into, uh, more into the depth. We've only got two hours because of our time frames, but they do very well. Um, and, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what they're going to do next. Knowing to here, he's probably going to spend time and cut down all the bodies and take them all up, which he will probably do. Um, and those were the effects of horror in Legends of Kralis. Um, it's definitely, there's ways to get out of it, but if you don't, it's going to stick with you. So until next time, we're going to be back in two weeks, hopefully, uh, with the, abiding any uh, conflict of schedules because, you know, we're eight hours, eight hours away and they're across the pond. So thank you so much for hanging out and watching with us. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, check me tonight uh, about 7 p.m., 6 p.m. maybe, somewhere in there. I'm going to be doing another character creation um, and show you how I do it so quickly. So until then, peace.